Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Man of Madon. Let's get right into it. All right, here we go. We're wasting no time. We're gonna get right into the action right here. Same creators that made Until Dawn. New story. Should we start up? Hold on, hold on. Before I start it, I forgot to uh, mute the music real quick. Just until the intro is over, because I know the intro is copyrighted. Or actually, no, I'm going to mute the music for the whole thing because I know there is some copyrighted music in this game. So let me quickly... Oh my god. What the fuck, man? Move this down to zero right here. Yes, let's continue. Graphics all the way up. Playing this on the PC, of course. Max graphics, ultra graphics. Let's do this. Here we go. Now, last time I played this game was a year. Was it a year ago? I think it was a year ago. And yeah, I rem I'm pretty sure I remember much of it. So, but I want to see if we get the same outcome in the end. Cause, uh, uh, I forgot who the hell did I save? I don't remember who I saved, but I got some characters killed. I want to see what kind of ending we get this time around. Look at this man. Ooh, it already looks pretty good. It looks really good. Let me hire my volume. Um, can you guys hear anything? Because I don't hear anything right. Maybe it's, there's supposed to be some music playing. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't hear shit. Yeah, I don't hear shit right now. going on all righty buster we better mosey on back to the ship <laughs> whoa stop why is the audio like so low right now? Got a little business to attend to. I know I hired, I know I lowered the music, but I didn't know the dialogue audio was this low. Maybe it's because there's jump scares and all that. That's why. But still. Who the hell? What's in store for me, Pop? Alright, here we go. Let me see. Will I be rich? Tell me about my... This guy has a son. Hmm. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Bamboo... Whoa. What the hell just happened? Hmm. A fish? It looks like a fish. Okay. Need a typhoon. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? What the hell is going on? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. <clears throat> All right. It's 
pretty smooth. Smooth going so far. Okay, how many goddamn times I get I gotta do this? Oh, yo, how much longer? Oh my god, it's getting way faster now. Oh my god, it's getting real fast. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Why am I in this red shirt? Wasting time. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Yeah, shit is really about to go down here. Is about to go down here, man. Hey, man. Hey, where's my, where's my fifty cents? Fifty cents? What fifty cents? Come on, man. Hey, bus all. Nobody pushes me around. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Kidding me? Uh oh. Oh shit, what's going on? Wake up. go start moving the hell's that shit over there what the hell what the hell oh shit something's going on here Hmm. Let's 
still out. earth is happening this, this looks really good so far on the PC right now it's clean howdy Charlie how's your time off just get me out of here already what the hell is going on up there I heard aircraft and gunfire me too and there was a a corpse what in the sick bay something's wrong let's get out of here yeah we better move Right, hold on, let me check his room. Anything in his room? Fuck is this? Hmm. All right. Is that blood? What the fuck is going on here? Brig. Oh, but we don't know the combination. Nothing we can do there. All right, let's get out of here. Enough, let's go. Let's go this way. What the hell was that? Oh crap, not this shit again. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Wait, maybe he can help us out. Maybe he can help us out. What the fuck? I thought he could help us out, but he can't help himself. Some shit is going on. What the hell? Uh, uh what, what the was fuck that? was that? What are you looking at, man? That's locked. Can't do anything about that. Alright, so what about over here? Hey, Charlie, help. Oh god, oh god. Oh, Kidding me? No. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that son. I don't see if there's any difference if I put the music on. I don't see if there's any difference. Him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Anything here? No. Going, damn it. Now the f these fucking camera angles, man. <laughs> Yo, these fucking camera angles. 
Oh, so now you tell me. Um, should I be going this way? That ain't gonna work. Okay. Yeah, I don't really feel a difference with the music. I don't know if the music is what causes the those jump scare moments. Because it's the, when you think about it, the jump scares are really the the high intense music that makes the jump scare. So I don't know if that is what causes the jump scare. So I hope it isn't, but I'll I'll probably turn the music back on once that intro part is over. That fucking dark pictures intro where they have that copyrighted music. So once that once that's over, once that is over, I might turn it back on. Oh, the fuck was that? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Let's check it out. Where's that kid at? Charlie, get over here. It's really going down. Oh God, no! What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? Don't do it. Oh, oh, just stabbed him. The shit. I didn't want to do anything. What the? Oh, damn. So that's what happens if you don't shoot the kid. You kidding me right now? All right, well, this, uh, the intro part really doesn't matter what comes after that matters those characters these characters are just Mayday! the start up is anyone there hello can anyone out there hear me oh come on come on damn it come on damn it What was that? No, no, no. Damn. So they all got killed? Wait, what? The music's still playing? I... Oh my god, the music's still playing. What the fuck? I turned the shit off. It's still going. 
Wait, music. Okay, maybe master volume. Let me see if the master volume's off. What? It's still going. The fuck? Okay, I don't hear anything now. Okay, let me turn the master volume back on. There we go. So, yeah, this part right here. Wait. Why is, why is the music still there? What the hell is going on? Oh, my God. I don't know what's happening. Hold on. Maybe it's SFX music. I'm, I'm just going to turn all of them off just for this intro part because I know this part's copyrighted. So, yeah, let me quickly do that. Yes. Save this shit. Oh, my. It's still playing. It's still fucking playing. Okay, not anymore. It's off now. There we go. So I guess I had to turn everything off. Alright, we're going to quickly run right through this intro part. Look at all these people. Or right, look at all these um, writers and all that. Just going to wait for this intro part to get it over with. Miller. God damn, how long is his intro, man? Who is this guy? This guy's basically like that uh, doctor in Until Dawn. But instead, this guy's telling the story. Who are you, man? Top of the morning to you. Jesus Christ, how long is his intro? God damn, this intro is long as fuck. What are you looking at? Fuck you looking at that for? So this is just the first game of the Dark Pictures Anthology. There's apparently eight games and this is the beginning of season one. Season one, there's four games and then during season two, there's another four games which will all equal to eight games in total the fourth game will be coming out later this year i think it's called devil some shit with devil but we're gonna be playing okay okay let me turn it back on now we're gonna be playing through all three of the dark pictures games on the channel so that'll be coming up real soon let me turn these shits back on now i'm pretty sure i can turn everything back on the music i still don't know if i should but I don't know if, if the music will still get copyright or not. SFX music. Is there any more music in this game? I don't know. I feel like there might be. You know, I'm just going to turn the music off just in case. Just in case there's copyrighted music. If I get copyright because of the SFX volume, I'm going to be pissed. But we'll see. Alright, let's continue. Hello. Hello, old man. And welcome. Who are you? What's your name? To my repository. What the hell do you want? I am the curator. The curator of the stories. Curator. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? 
As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you hmm. can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. Look at that picture. Ah, look at this. Oh, it looks really good right now. This is basically like watching a movie, pretty much. Except I get to interact with it. Oh, damn. Brad. Witty. Alex's brother. Innocent. Duke of Milan. Alex. Motivated. Brad's brother. Julia's boyfriend. Insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's embarrassing, had to work. I wanted to, I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know, I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. I was invited. Not good with people. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. My God, right, yo. Amigo. The, Calvary's the character here. models look Ooh, insane. Sorry, they look snappy. so... I'm just Realistic. The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. It's been two weeks. Must be tough. It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. Wait, they've been dating for two weeks? Is that what's going on? Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. The fuck? They've been dating for two weeks? I thought it was more than that. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Spit it out. Give it some thought, cautious, go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Julia. Excited. Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless. Conrad, Julia's brother to relax. Foolhardy. Cool. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. 
This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard Bradley. about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah, cool, I guess. Hmm. Apprehensive. Ah, uh, TBH? I kind of have a <laughs> TBH. Uh, seasickness? Brad. Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. I'm going to try picking as much opposite, just one. Nah, man. You, you really, really don't want to see me you know blowing chunks <laughs> i'm trying to pick as much you ever do any opposite before? choices as i can self-assured all the time um no actually never done it before water virgin nice hey we're gonna pop your cherry together we're gonna be gentle uh yeah, so I'm trying to pick as much opposite choices as I can, <laughs> if I remember them. Oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Oh, who the hell? Fliss, impatient, captain of the Duke of Milan, courageous. All right, captain. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but... Uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Let's do this. Uh, you're selling. I'm buying. Oh. oh. And off we go in the boat. Damn, look at the graphics in this game. Jeez. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. Brad was so sure. Frustrated. I was so sure it would be here. But yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? What's going on? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so? So, the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and... were just, like, so dope. Ah, so dope. Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry, yeah, uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Can't dive. Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? I am gonna do some reading up on B-29s.
We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hmm. All right, let me look around. Hmm. What the fuck am I looking for? I don't see anything. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. All right, enough. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Hey, back. <laughs> Fuck. Almost got the gear good to go. Thanks for paying. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know, the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? Oh. <laughs> I, st I still do good. But if it was a competition, I'd still do pretty good, right? <laughs> well, if you adjust for inflation, gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Oh. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Come on. Can I talk to her? Fuck was the point of that? Use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. All right, let me go talk to Brad. Yo, little bro. Howdy. Huh. What am I looking at here? Uh oh. Should look at that. All right, let me talk to him. How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found the plane. Captain on our backs. Wasn't sure we would. Hard to get anything accomplished with Captain Eagle Eye on our backs. Ah, uh, she's just doing her job. Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. Get you something cool. What's down there? Well, if there is anything cool down there, I'll nab it for you. Just don't let Captain Killjoy find out. I get Fliss has a rule. But man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. Don't forget the camera. Picks or it didn't happen. What should I look for? Come through it all together. Whatever we bring up, or go we'll through, through it all together. together and you'll tell me what I got. Okay? Dope. So when do you say dope? Since I realized it was like tight. Fresh. Welp. See you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. Hmm. Alright, anything back here? Alright, anything what the hell's this? Sure, Julia left anything on the mainland. Is that perfume? This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Okay. Guess that's it. Hold up. Can I go? 
I don't think I can go in that room anyways. Oh my god, these controllers are kind of weird. Alright, go back up. Oh, hold on, hold on. This doesn't look kosher. Hmm. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Zing. Can I talk to her? Hold up. I, I can. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Listen, bitch. Fliss, we paid a lot of <laughs> money for this particular dive. In this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dive, couple racks, fay. Oh. How experienced are you? Oh. Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say. Oh. I don't know the truth. <laughs> Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? Of course I don't. We just met. The fake certificate is only temporary. Oh. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? This dive is supposed to bankroll the fees. Hmm. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? Oh, tell her. So I guess that applies to all of us. Oh, damn. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Who's gonna know? I get it. How much? <laughs> Fine. I get it. How much? Oh. How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? Oh. -ho. <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. All right, we ready to go or what? Okay, so... This is the rebreather, way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. <laughs> okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Um, take camera. Take this. I got the bank stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. All right, kids. Ha -ha. Good to you go. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Just nope. remember the rules, please. Take the camera as well. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. <laughs> She's just fucking... Her face just turned... She was smiling then. Back to... Normal face. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. 
Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Hmm. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Don't ask Lay about her. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It'd be my pleasure. Sorry I got enough on my plate. Huh. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. What the fuck? Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Hmm, alright. Why, why am I looking at this? Come on, the guy already saw it before. Talk to Comrade. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a prob, Bob. Bob. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Nice one. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. Oh my god. In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> Jesus. Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Hmm. <laughs> Binoculars. Anything going on out there? I don't see anything going on, so put that shit back. Can I fucking go? What the hell's going on? Alright, what the hell was that? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Something happened? Okay, let me go downstairs now, I guess. Oh, Brad's still there. I totally forgot about him. Hi. Hey. You okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight and I guess I guessed good. I hope they respect the site. You can y use those old stories? You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Brad, you okay? Yes.
Can I go in here? Hmm, I guess not. Oh, wait a minute. Another picture. Uh oh. Why fuck. do I keep these around? What the fuck? Alright, is there anything in here? Besides this damn perfume again? Seriously, what the hell's the point of this? Okay, I guess there's nothing else. It's not like I can go in here, right? Nope. Alright. What the fuck, man? These damn movements. Guess I haven't checked the tablet yet. Oh. Oh, here we go. What's that about? That's not the Coast Guard. Fishing boat. From the looks of it. Fishing boat. From the looks of it. How should we handle this? Be quiet. This feels off. This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Get out of here. Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? Uh oh. Got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take Fuck. care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh ten bucks cover it? The fuck's wrong with his oh, eye? My bad, let's make it twenty. You know oh, this shoot, guy's you, gonna you be trouble. Like 30, I can do thirty. Alright, uh -oh. you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here. Let's just throw in the whole pot. Stop wasting your money, Conrad. How they how are they even gonna pick it up? You just threw it in the water. Okay, we're I guess we're gonna be playing as Julia and what's the what's the fucking guy's name again? Julia and I already forgot his name. What the hell's his name? Said one of the pictures showed an Alex, light. that's his name. Conrad. Really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Uh oh. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. Oh shit. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. I look down for one uh, second that happens. First? Can I just take a second to say holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. Oh, what the hell was that? Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Another picture. What? Uh oh. What the hell? Julia, leave it. You have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Hmm. Live a little. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. What 
hell is this? Is that a bullet? Bullet hole. Secret found. found the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Bradley. All right, come on, come on, come on. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Why am I looking at this again? Come on. Good God. Kidding me right now? Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. What is this? Okay. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. He's holding something. I already picked this up. What the fuck? Okay, enough. Let's go. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Uh oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These sound effects are so damn loud. Oh, there's gonna be a jump scare, isn't there? I'm already expecting it. Where's the jump scare? Where the fuck is it? Okay, why, why can't I go? Jump scare incoming. Oh. Whoa, whoa. I knew it. I think I wet my wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Julia! Oh my God! Just don't touch anything else, please. He's holding something. No, not this shit again. So is there? Oh wait, wait. Am I going the right way right now? I don't know. This is the other way. Okay, hold on. Let's go in here. Anything here? Um, what the fuck? Why can't I? What the fuck, man? Where the hell am I supposed to go? There's nothing even fucking here. Okay, what the fuck? I guess we'll go back. Are, are we supposed to go back right now? Why, why is he not following me? Am I going... I don't think I'm going the right way. Why isn't he following me? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. What? I didn't mean to go in. I didn't mean to go in. I guess we're going in. You sure this was a good idea? Whoa, 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 what the hell? Jesus. Oh shit, was it? There we go. Oh 
Maybe we shouldn't have done that. You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. Oh, damn. We gotta get out of here, now! They're still here? Oh God. Oh God, Alex. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh, oh, what the hell? I know you can't tell. Doing underwater. this underwater? I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? Oh, my God. You shitting me right now? I... I oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. What should I do? Yes. You know, last time I rejected him, so let's just say yes this time. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Like I said, I'm yeah, going to do most of yeah, the opposite so stuff that I remember. <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah. What happened? What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. My God. Oh my God, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now, go, go. Are they having a barbecue hey, or some shit? On? What the hell happened? Yeah, what's going on here? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Are you sure about that? They're barbecuing. Look, why would you leave the money on the water? A little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Why are you paying the ocean? So why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Doctor. Well, he's not a doctor. He's a curator. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, 
forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Hmm. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say, hmm. this lady was impressed. Yeah, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink Oh, they're downstairs he making and out. Since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Does have a nice... Honestly, whoa, 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 what I the fuck? I didn't even choose it. that. But now that I hear it, it oh my god, explain. what the hell is going on now? So, I didn't even choose that. It just chose by itself. Plans. Eventually. I swear, that better not happen again. Since Mel is planning together. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to Oh my god, they better not do that thing where it chooses the shit by itself. You're assuring, I wasn't sure I'd like to... Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. So you, you can walk all over me? Like a rug so you can walk all over me? Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Yep, they're making out. Oh. Jesus. Jesus Christ, Conrad. Coast Guard! The Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody close <laughs> their meth! We gotta get rid of all this meth! We can't let them take us alive! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. What the fuck? All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What's this? Oh, camera. So, how's it feel to be a man post proposal? We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Ah, oh, there's the photo. There's that. There's that. Jesus, how many fuck pictures did he take? I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. This man took that as well. My god, how many pictures are here? Proud you, bro. Okay, that that's it. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. But one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still. We're over the top, bro. All right, let's head. Yep, go. Yep, can you go down? What? What the fuck was I looking for? What was she trying to look for? Oh, the bullet. They kept the bullet. Oh, what rusty ass bullet? All right, let's go over here. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. 
Alright, let's go ahead and grab this shit. Oh. Guess Got he'll it. Gr grab go it for on. us. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Em? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true, and it happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. Shush. One track mind. He of the one track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! Oh, fuck, Conrad. Yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. 
Nice one, Squire. Coast cool. disappointed. It wasn't scary. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. Corn dog. You've all had your fun? We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Oh shit, something's about to go down here. What's about to happen? Oh, who the hell? The fuck? <coughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, that's right, that's right. Quit. Who the fuck? It's those guys from the boat. These sons of bitches. <gasps> My God. <clears throat> kidding me right now? Look at this prick. This fucking prick. Fucking gag. How are we going to get out of here, man? Julia, you okay? I think so. Oh, is this the guy who cracked the bottle on his head? He's bleeding. Yeah, you're really bad at this, man. Oh, that's right. Fuck out. Oh, 
I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Oh. You're the little lady. Oh. Oh. What's gonna happen? Oh my god. Oh yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? Oh, oh. Uh uh. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Fuck you. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill you! Oh my god, is he gonna. Oh my god! What the shit? Just sliced off a piece of his hair. Brad's hiding. They didn't find him. Julia, you're coming back. Come on. Fuck. Motherfuckers. Julia, tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. to wait and see what they want to do with us. Ah, oh, shit. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. 
Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Hey, what the hell are you thinking? What the hell, guys? Hey, they definitely heard that. Conrad, go to the other side. We'll hit them together. Uh oh. Keep calm. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Grab knife. Let's go, let's go. Drop it, Buster. Drop the damn gun. Conrad! Easy. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. Drop the gun, you prick. <coughs> Worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, old son. Take escape. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> we shouldn't have done that. Bring them downstairs. You kidding me right now? Use it if you have to. Are you shitting me right now? Sit down. Over there. You right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. Ferme la. Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen, come here. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian go? Uh oh. break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She needs oh, guys. damn, Alex. They travel in the same waters. She's a captain. Just straight up accusing her like that. Her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Oh, shit, Alex. What the fuck, Alex? How dare you? I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, so what a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still, all of you. You come with me. Hey, 
Leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything, fish. And maybe consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Dude, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Ask for help. Ooh. I repeat, SOS, you are 20 miles north of... <laughs> oh my god. That was a brilliant idea. Well, at least they know now. You motherfuckers won't get away with this. The police is gonna hunt you down. Dream on. Ocean's a big place. Easy to get lost. They'll still come looking for us. Whoa, 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 whoa! He saved us. The fuck's wrong with it? Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Bro, it's really about to come down. the hell okay yeah just cut it all loose push him off help hey move it now They really beat the fuck out of Conrad. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. Don't say that too loud now. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. This guy yeah. just screamed that? Oh my god. He legit just screamed that. Now he... Are you kidding me? Now they know. Why would he scream? Why would you scream that? The fuck? Oh, now they know about Brad. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. So I know we could have got Conrad kill in that scene or in that chapter just just now. What's he doing? Kind hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Curious. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Hmm. <sighs> Probably.
probably shouldn't have said that. Yes, everyone's here now. We're playing as Conrad. Oh, we're playing as Conrad right now. Is air. Oh shit, man. Oh, we really should have come here. These these guys are idiots. The guys that captured us. We could just go back right now. The mask of madness. Look at these damn camera angles, man. this shit over here this fucking guy what the hell do these dickheads want with us what are you doing oh shit god damn it Alright, what's that over here? Alright. Osan! You're in box, you see! Okay, all of you. Into the room. They really bitch slapped her. 
see the blood on her face. What the hell is this fucking place? An abandoned ship. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Hmm. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now, pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. Well, typically, a distributor cap is designed to distribute voltage from the coil to the correct rotor, which in turn... It's an essential part of the engine. We're not taking the Duke of Milan anywhere without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. What the fuck? All right, guys, I think this is a good spot to end off uh, part one for Man of Madon. The next one will be the ending of this game. So, yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. It's been your mate, Doug Zaudi, and I'll see you guys in the next video.